The countdown to the presidential election is on with 69 days left until Election Day. Now, after some problems in the primaries, those in charge of the polls here in Maryland are determined to get things right come November. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at the City Board of Elections tonight with the latest on protecting Maryland's vote. Mike. Rick, there was a virtual conference with the Maryland Association of Elections officials. They said that 2020 has been like no other year, but they believe the November 3rd general election will go smoothly. Who would have thought 2020's general election would have been like this? We knew it was going to be crazy, but not this crazy. Election officials from every county in Maryland and Baltimore City came together to talk about the challenges they're facing for the upcoming presidential election. It's like a global pandemic vote by mail elections, election judge vacancies on a never before seen scale. Among them, Linda Lamone, the longtime Maryland elections administrator. The fact that we had to completely change the way we conduct elections in Maryland was just um, an un unreal challenge. Lamone came um, under fire after the primary for long lines and some voters not getting mail in ballots on time. Some lawmakers demanded she resign and the governor expressed his outrage last month. It was an unmitigated disaster. Uh, there were rampant problems. For the big election in November, Maryland State Board of Elections plans for fewer but larger polling places for in-person voting and will triple the number of drop boxes for mail-in ballots. For those voters who do not trust the Postal Service, there are still concerns about finding enough poll workers during the pandemic. Everybody understands that this election is causing some adjustments and we're making those as we need to. The head of a government commission that helps local elections officials said some across the country have been threatened. Ignorant, ri ridiculous uh, folks who are calling in with death threats. He urged those in charge of Maryland's elections to rise to the challenge ahead. The world is watching us and they want to know how the United States, the beacon of democracy, is going to handle this election. And this week, the State Board of Elections began mailing out millions of applications for mail-in ballots. Many of you will get yours soon in your mailbox. Reporting live downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ.